Hello, this is Adi Ruskategi with the Business Alliance. Today we have a, a, spe a special, special, special guest right now, Jasmine Terry. Jasmine uh, is uh, from New York. Uh, her dad is from Argentina. And she's going to talk to us about, uh, I wouldn't say coach, what would you call it? Again? I call it life therapy. What is that all about? So I invented the terminology of life therapy because I'm a traditionally trained psychotherapist. So I have two master's degrees from Columbia University, but I also integrate life coaching. I have a certification in NLP coaching, Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's the kind of coaching that Tony Robbins does. Right. But I integrate kind of East and West. So these kind of Western practices with more Eastern philosophies like mindfulness and meditation, which is my background and upbringing. Um. We were talking off camera about meditating. Tell me about, uh, because I'm sure it's, it's a really important part of the whole process. Right. What is that all about? So a lot of people are kind of aren't so sure about meditating and don't really know what it is. So essentially what meditating is, is developing a mental muscle to not get caught up in all of these kind of thoughts and feelings that take over. It's kind of, when you think of, dreaming, you realize that you don't really have control, you don't have any control over it, your dreams just come. And the same goes for thoughts and feelings, that we have a lot of thoughts and feelings that just arise, and that we just kind of fall into and we feel and it kind of takes over us. But there are also times when we're thinking intentionally, where we have a goal and we're focused and we're focusing on something specific. And so meditation is strengthening that mental muscle to not get caught up in whatever it is that just automatically coming up. They call it unconsciously, right? It just kind of comes and you're anxious and you're frustrated and you're annoyed and you're angry or, or you're just, well, what should I have for lunch? And he did this and I don't know about that. You know, kind of all this random, all these random things that come through us. When you meditate, you have either a mantra, which is a, a word that you say over and over, or you have your breath or you have a guided meditation. I have various guided meditations on my website. But essentially what it is, is you're building the muscle to focus on one thing and then catch your mind when it wanders off and bring it back. And the act of catching it and bringing it back and catching it and bringing it back is the building of the muscle. And so when do you know that you're doing it right? There's, 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 no, no, <laughs> there's no right or wrong, right? So there's no right or wrong. The only bad meditation is no meditation. That's so not. doing it is the practice, just like exercising, right? Is that if you, if you want to lose weight, you don't just exercise once, you don't just eat healthy once, you need to keep doing it over and over until you build those muscles. So, for example, if you want to be strong and you exercise once, you can't pick something up, but if you build that muscle over and over, then you want to pick something heavy up, you have the muscle. And the same goes for your emotional strength, right? Is that it's easy to be calm and cool and collective and everything's good, but do you have the skills to handle when everything goes crazy? And that's the practice of meditation so that you can handle it when, <laughs> when things get nuts. Okay. Uh, tell me about that. Well, obviously, you've been doing it for 10 years, and you bring a lot to the table. And at the same time, you were telling me that you, you deal with people overachievers. Right. So, yeah, the, the primary clientele that I work with are usually business-oriented, overachievers, successful, you name it, from Hong Kong to Hollywood that everybody in between is the people who are kind of go-getters and goal-oriented and, and have been fairly successful or very successful in their lives. But yet, they often struggle on the personal side of things because they're so focused on... Is the, that more common? It is pretty right? common. I, I, guess, I can see people being in the work mode and then they don't know how to get out of it. Exactly, because there's... There's only so much time in a day, and when you have a goal and you are goal-oriented and it, you, you're focused, and there's a science to achievement, right? There's, there's a lot of, you know, it's more logical, it's not emotionally based, and then you have your personal life, which is much more emotionally based. And so it's kind of hard to shift gears, and essentially there's the art of, the science of achievement and the art of fulfillment. And so I really specialize in that art of fulfillment, which is your relationships, the relationships with your spouse, or if you don't have a spouse, figuring out how, who you want to be in order to attract that type of person into your life, or your family, or your kids. It's getting on the same page, learning how to communicate properly, learning how to show up in a way that creates 
intimate and deep and connected loving dynamics in your life because work is awesome but a lot of people you look at all of the famous suicides in this world that's true and you wonder why I mean they were doing so great so and they were good, having so much right. money and they were achieving a lot of different right. things but they haven't figured they, out the art of fulfillment they haven't like learned how to fill themselves up on the inside and, and it's not just your relationship with other like people like this guy uh, Robin Williams just to bring one up exactly you know? and he's who didn't love Robin Williams exactly, right yeah, who yeah. didn't love that guy he had so much love but it also comes from you loving yourself, right? Is how do you deal with yourself? And we have so many thoughts. So let me just back up. Is it's not just your relationships with other people, but the foundation is the relationship with yourself, right? Is why do I think the way I do? Why do I feel the way I do? What do I do with these thoughts and feelings when they come up? What are skills and tools that I can use to handle myself better from the inside out? Because just because you can achieve all these things outwardly. On to the next, on to the next, on to the next, next, more, 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 and then you never get a sense of real That's satisfaction true. or fulfillment. Fulfillment. Okay. Now, tell me about your family. Okay. So, um, I grew up in a home that is far from ordinary. My friends lovingly referred to it as Willy Wonka's factory. <laughs> So there were wall hangings of hearts and ice cream and hot pink leather couches and every cabinet was a different yes. color. And it was all a representation of my mother's dedication to living from love. And she was highly spiritual and really grounded and centered in all of that. The fulfillment stuff was the essence of her, just a being, a being of light and love. You were saying something that you had never met anyone so dedicated to be a mom. No, like I had never met any. I've been to over 60 countries of world travel, a decade of private practice, all of my friends, all of my family, all of my life. I've never met another human who parented with such clarity and intention and joy and fun and peace and, and depth as she did. And essentially, I, I always felt like I was always very proud and and grateful, but I also knew that it was rare and I felt a little unworthy and undeserving um, because I didn't earn it and I didn't do anything. I just, I just got lucky, you know? Um, but then three years ago, um, she was coming to meet me for lunch and she never showed up. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. So she, she died in a car accident and... Um, I guess three years ago is like Yesterday, I mean, yeah, really it's amazing, right? right? Yeah. It's crazy how fast it goes and how slow it goes. But then, but then, um, on the actual anniversary of my mother's death, my daughter was born. So one full revolution That's around true. the sun. I uh, here actually, she I had babies at home. Yeah, with my kids in the nice. bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> so as a result, you know that that synchronicity really was what channeled my third baby. My book. Extraordinary Mommy. Extraordinary Mommy. That's like bringing up everything, all the memories and everything else to a book? Yeah, so essentially this was my way to... I want, I want to be an extraordinary mommy like my mother was. I'm sure you are. Thank <laughs> you. I hope so. But it's hard. Being a parent is really hard and I don't have her. Like you were saying, maybe you don't... Like, yeah. In my case, uh, I didn't have a book. Right. By the time I knew, it was kind of late. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's, <a> <laughs> right? that's a really good point. It's like, oh, we finally figured it out. Oh. Oh, it's, too late. it's like planning a wedding. It's like you don't want to plan another one, but once you do it, once that's then you true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like I'm, ready, I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> yeah. okay. but so yeah, I really wanted to hone in on what made her such an incredible mother, and how do I do the same thing for my kids? And I, I simplified into these kind of ten golden nuggets. And what I did is I, I was really doing it for myself as a way to feel close to her, feel connected to her, and and clarify who I want to be for my children, and realize as I was writing it, that this unworthiness that I felt growing up that I didn't you deserve... You were sharing it to right, the world. That, I, I, that not only did I deserve it, but that all kids do. And that there's nothing more powerful than a mother's love, right? That's true. There's nothing more powerful. But the challenges of life and the ups and downs and all these things keep us from leading with that That's love true. and being connected to that love. And I mean, you see it all the time is that like people are stressed and they talk to their kids in certain ways. When it's good, it's good. But when it's hard, it's hard. But you want to compensate it, giving them everything. Yeah, I and mean, we all have these different strategies right. of how we overcompensate because we feel bad that we treated them the way That's we should have. Right. But it's a matter of... You feel guilty, right? Yeah. But with these principles, it's it's... What are these things that we have to always come back to and what, are we, what to remember so that we can, we're our, we're our kids' first love, right? So That's true. So how we love them determines who they're going to be in this world.
this world, who they believe themselves to be, the type of love that they expect from other people. Is, I got a super awesome husband, but you know why? It's because I got loved by this lady. So I can get yeah, a wife like that by <laughs> reading a, this book right but here. But maybe your kids can. That's true. Right? That's Is that if your kids are loved like that, if your kids are understood and listened to and respected and That's enjoyed. That's true. And we don't see that every day they, nowadays. Well, you know they, I mean? they are, but there's different. Right now, parents spend more time with their kids than ever before. But it's quantity. They're all distracted, staring at their that phone. That's true. Right? That's yeah. So it's how to give your kids, it's the quality, the quality of your presence. Yes. Is how do I see you? How do I hear you? How do I read between the lines? When you're acting a certain way, how do I get to the source of what you really need? And, and so these are those kind of core principles to come back to. And what I realized is that this is my this is my journey to get into the homes. This is why she's gone. Well, tell me something about that lady that you... Uh... So yesterday, oh, the yeah, yeah. That was good. <laughs> this was really fun. Yesterday, yeah. I was in a waiting room and I saw a woman sitting there reading my book. That's so amazing! It was so awesome. Yeah. yeah, and she was literally finishing it. So I waited patiently. She finished the book and I looked over and I'm like, "What you reading?" And she looked up and because my picture's on the back of it, she's like, "Oh my God, is this you?" Oh, and we God. had this moment, and then she started crying. I'm so happy. And she yeah. would started telling me what a beautiful book it a was, powerful book. how powerful and beautiful. And she told me the nuggets and the things that she learned from it, and it made me realize that that's what this is all about. I should have recorded. I know. I forgot to record it. Can you see on my Instagram? I totally forgot. But it was a beautiful moment. So now I'm talking about that's because that's the that's point. True. Is that and where can we get the book? You can get it at jasminetarani.com. Which website. is right here, down here. Somewhere down there. Down where, and that also, yes. uh, by being in the, with the Business Alliance and all, is there a discount for people that come? Uh, yes, away? I will give you guys a discount. We'll talk about it we'll we'll figure about out which there is a discount. The people is going to be down here. Right. Uh, we're hoping that, uh, obviously, with this busy time and all, that you have time for us to uh, get tips from you in the magazine. Yeah, I would love it. And uh, you were saying about your services uh, virtual. I mean, people yeah, so contact you from all over the world. I work with clients all over the world. It's all virtual on Zoom or phone. We meet once a week. for We have a regular scheduled session, and we meet, and it's you and me, and we take a deep dive into what it is that you need. We create goals, and we, I got you. Did you so, have the whole program, the whole process, the information is in the magazine? Everything the is website? on my website. Everything you need is on my website. You can actually get, if you're not ready to take the plunge to meet individually, you can get some free guided meditations. I have some for parents wow. and for kids, like a, a meditation that you can do with your kids before bed, and also a parenting patience meditation. They're both free when you sign up for my newsletter, where you can learn how to ground yourself when you just want to scream and hit and wow. cry and everything. And, um, and then my book. But you should get and get for all of your friends that's and true. all that's of them. It is a, for baby showers. Look how pretty this is a baby true. shower nice. gift. Yes. Get all of them for all your all the moms you know because it's meant to be. This is I really believe that that's why she's gone and so that this can get in the homes. It's been a pleasure moms. having you here. This is a, an you so amazing much. interview. I hope that I get to just talk to you and see you and learn from you. Thanks. Thank you okay. so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And for the next time, uh, just make sure you read everything down here so you can get all that information in the book. All right? Thank you.